they say <coughs> posh bias. <laughs> you, that you take it up the air. That's what they say. Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're checking out some Ali G. It's been a minute. This is Ali G met the Beckhams. I think this was when they were very, very popular. David Beckham and Victoria Beckham. Probably the most popular couple to today. They're big. So Ali G is going to take the piss out of them. Let's go. Hear me now. You was probably thinking, why is I doing comic relief? Well, me only agreed to do it because me thought we was going to get a free trip to meet me brothers in Africa. <laughs> and while me was there, maybe score some Botswana and homegrown. <laughs> now, check it. Africa ain't just the country that gave us Bob Marley. I seen... <laughs> Africa ain't just a country. Africa is not... In case you're thinking, it's not a country. I know a lot of people think Africa is a country. It's a continent. It's a continent. Continent, okay? <laughs> and Jamaica is not in Africa. Just let you know, it's in the Caribbean. It's true, it's true. I've seen documentaries about it, and there's some terrible images that has been left in my mind, especially of tribes women with well droopy swingers. <laughs> With your help, we can stop these shocking things happening. <laughs> now, please be... Sorry, this was on Comic Relief. This is meant to be a charity. <laughs> comic Relief. There's no way they're going to let him come back and do this today. No way. This was probably like in the mid-2000s when people were more, you know, lenient about this kind of stuff. I, I'm not... I'm, I'm, I don't find this offensive. I think it's funny. I think it's so, so funny. And I'm African. I love it. I love this kind of comedy. But a lot of people that are not Africans, they don't going to find it more offensive than people that are Africans, like me. Stupid. Big it up for me guest tonight. Every boy wants to be in his boots and every man wants to be in his missus. <laughs> Big it up for none other than Victoria and David Beckham. <laughs> Now, scary as you comfy. <laughs> Beckham, what about you? All right. Listen, just because this is comic relief doesn't mean you should speak in a silly voice, right? <laughs> Don't play it on me. Now, where did you two meet? We met at the football. Beckham, was you into the Spice Girls beforehand? Um, no, but I was into Posh. Had you already seen a picture of her and knocked one out? <laughs> That's a yes, isn't it? <laughs> come on, what about that picture of her in the black cat suit and the boots that come up well eye? Apparently, in that video, if you freeze frame it, you can actually see a tiny bit of camel toe. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that right? Have you seen the picture? Do not, do not send it to me. My email is edichi at gmail.com. Do not send it to me. I'm being serious. I'm actually being serious. Don't... <laughs> what did I give you my email? <laughs> don't send it to me. Don't. <laughs> I can see. Yeah, that's more like a camel hoof, girl. <laughs> now, it must be amazing going out with a Spice Girl, but in an ideal world, and no disrespect to your bitch, wouldn't you... <laughs> In an ideal world, wouldn't you rather be with baby? <laughs> So, how many of the Spice Girls turned you down before you went for it? <laughs> you went for scary first, what? <laughs> no, just this one. Now, does you go to watch him play football? Yeah, I do, whenever I can, cos Brooklyn loves going to watch him, so... as much as we can. Me heard there is an insulting song that they sing about you. As you heard it, what is the words? <laughs> they say, <coughs> posh spice. <laughs> you, that you take it up the air. That's what they say. <laughs> but that ain't insulting. That is the biggest compliment you can pay to me. It's 
<laughs> no, but seriously, does you take it up the back? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course I don't. Beckham, you're telling me you ain't never been caught offside? <laughs> No. Oh, but me heard you was well good at getting round the back and swinging your balls in, eh? <laughs> they do say it's the way he bends it, I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> respect, respect. A little bit of a different vibe from <laughs> Parkinson, <laughs> weren't you? <Yeah. laughs> now, Beckham, do you reckon the better the footballer you is, the fitter the girl you go out with? <laughs> Obviously. So you is the best at footy, you know. So oh, you yeah. get posh. So does Sporty Spice go out with someone from Scum Foot United? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. What do you mean? That's my friend and she's lovely. Exactly. Why? Is he trying to say Scum Foot is not a good team? Yes. That is, that is a horrible thing to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> you has got a little nipper. Do you reckon you as good parents? Yeah, I do think we're good parents. So when did you teach him to roll his first spliff? <laughs> I will never teach him that. And to be fair, you have to say, David Beckham and Victor Beckham, they're actually a good sport, literally. I love the fact that, especially back in them days, people like this, they're more, you know, careful as to what they say on interviews. Today, I feel like sports stars are more, you know, vocal, they have their own personality. Back then, you had to be a certain way. The media sees you cannot do anything wrong. Anything you do is a big, massive problem. Now today, everyone's more free. You can do whatever you want. You can have your own. You can do stuff outside football, outside singing. They have their own personality. But fair play to them. They're doing it well. Obviously, Ali G is more of a comedian, and this is what he does. And for them to actually come into this for comic relief and actually doing this, I think comic. Did they do the, uh, the Queen? Queen, the band. I think Queen did something for them as well. Catherine Tate did something for them as well. Lil Brain did something for them as well. It's good. It's good. Fair play to Comic Relief. It's still going on after... So, what's that thing they do every year? That football tournament that they play, that uh, all sports stars do? Is that Comic Relief as well? So, please do let me know now, below. I think it's Comic Relief. Let me know. Nah. Why not? You should never deny your kid education. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's he called? Brooklyn. All right, and how did you come up with that name? <laughs> <laughs> well, we found out that I was pregnant while, we was, while I was on tour in America and we was in Brooklyn when we found out. So had you actually done it there? No, we didn't do it there. Ah, uh, for real? We for did real. it in Denmark, if you really want to know. <laughs> so how come you never called him Denmark? <laughs> that would be a well good idea though, what? Because if me and me Julia had a kid, we'd call him Langley Village. <laughs> <laughs> well, his full name would be the Boggs in <laughs> KF. I'd call my, my kid uh, Birmingham. Birmingham. Me and me, Julie. You know, we live in Birmingham. She's not. Her name is not Julie. I'm not gonna say. You know her name. If you're if you're a real fan, if you're a real, if you've been supporting me for a long time, you know what my missus, my missus name is. It's not Julie. But yeah, our kid, Birmingham. FC in London. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, does Brooklyn like your music, or is he getting a bit old for it now? <laughs> He does like music. He's, he's really, you know, he jigs about and dances, and he's also into football as well. So it's nice. So Respect. He's doing a footballer with rhythm. So tell me, is your little boy starting to put old sentences together? He's saying little bits and pieces, and yeah. And what about Brooklyn? <laughs> <laughs> So, do you want him to grow up to be a footballer like his dad or a singer like Mariah Carey? <laughs> um, well, I'm hoping that he'll grow up to be a footballer like his dad and I'd like to grow up and be a singer like Mariah Carey. <laughs> What's that? He's got to have a break now because Posh is going to do a bit of breastfeeding backstage. <laughs> Just out of interest, is there one going spare? <laughs> Check you later. Welcome back. Me and Brooklyn is both well fed. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> now, Posh, 
I know a lot of people have asked you this, but is you really posh? I'm not really posh. No, I just For like real. nice clothes and nice restaurants, and that's how I got called posh. David, they say posh people talk as if they got a plum in their mouth. <laughs> Does your missus sound posh when she got your plums in her mouth? <laughs> he was going to say you're not actually meant to speak when you've got your mouth full, so you wouldn't actually have that problem. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Posh, me heard you recently had a disease of the head called mingingitis. <laughs> <laughs> Is you better now? I had um, viral meningitis now. <laughs> that is well bad. So did Sporty catch the mingingitis from you? Because <laughs> she, she has got it well bad. <laughs> Don't lie, that is serious. She got a bad case no, of it. No, none of the other girls have had meningitis, only me. Respect. Now, Becca, <laughs> you was being well quiet there in the corner. Yeah? You was better. Don't think... I mean, this ain't like a classroom where if you keep your head down, I won't <laughs> ask you questions, you know? <laughs> now, why do you think you is a pin-up for so many gay lords? We don't... <laughs> we, we don't use the word butty men now, cos it ain't politically correct. <laughs> you tell me. I mean, just because you wear skirts, your girlfriend's pants, have a suntan and a skinhead, talk like a girl and hang out with Elton John. What's going on? <laughs> nothing. Nothing wrong with that. For real, respect. <laughs> Let's talk about fashion. <laughs> Beckham, we have all seen pictures of you wearing clothes that is well embarrassing and make you look like a <laughs> laughing stock. <laughs> Why do you wear that England football shirt? <laughs> I'm very proud to play for England. You know, the results have <coughs> been very good over the last year or two, but, you know, uh, new manager coming in, and I think uh, there'll be changes, and I He's think we'll back do to very well. <laughs> be patriotic, for goodness sake. I is, listen, if Jamaica is playing, <laughs> I is always supporting <laughs> So, keeping on the fashion, what's the name of that dress that you wore? The sarong. I know it was so wrong, but what... <laughs> <laughs> me gotta say, and me hope me speaking for the rest of the audience here and the country, that me would love to see you two bone each other. <laughs> I was about right now for comic relief. <laughs> I'm posh, I don't do that kind of thing. But it's for charity! I don't care! There's brothers out there dying and shit, come on! <laughs> No, but... Come on, let's see your red nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I bone your missus? <laughs> no. Respect to both of you for coming on. Please big it up for the main couple in England, Posh and Bex! <laughs> You know what? Fair play to them. They were great spot. Fair, especially uh, Victor Beckham, because you hardly ever hear her speak. Like I have this thing in my head that I'm always thinking she's this, you know, this posh person, very, very proud. But when she was younger, she was very outspoken. She was actually speaking about stuff that you don't think someone will, like her would speak about. Fair play, and David Beckham as well. They can take jokes. That's the way it's meant to be. Today, I feel like everyone's a bit careful. You have to be careful about every question you ask because it's going to come back and haunt you. I'm so I'm surprised this video hasn't come back and haunt Ali G, but you can't cancel Sasha. Sasha Cohen, that's his name, I think, yeah. You can't cancel him. He's a legend, British legend. Legend, just in comedy in general. I really enjoyed that. I have to check out more comic relic stuff. Uh, hope you guys really enjoy this. If you want to see more stuff, please, please check out the Patreon. I'm also setting up a Discord server. Discord server. A Discord for everyone, the main community. Because you never know, I could be kicked off YouTube anytime. So, well, we have some place to chat also check out the patreon it's mainly free check out the patreon like subscribe comment and i'll see you guys very soon bye bye